sculptures can be made from almost any materials. And today we're going to be using these cornstarch peanuts, a piece of cardboard for the base, and watered down glue. Let's go. Hello, my talented artists. If you love this content, be sure to subscribe. The bottom of a sculpture is called the base, and the base is really important structurally to make sure that your sculpture is stable and doesn't tip over. You can have any kind of cardboard base. This one I cut out of a box from the kitchen, and this one is just a regular corrugated cardboard make sure that your name is on the bottom when you set it on the table you won't see your name because it's on the bottom we are going to be using watered down glue and these wonderful corn starch packing peanuts they're not peanuts like the nut that people are allergic to they are very safe it just keeps fragile things from breaking when they're being shipped in a box but they're called peanuts because originally, a long time ago, they used peanuts to pack things. So we're gonna take our cornstarch packing peanut and we're gonna dip it whichever way you want the glue to be on. And then we are going to press wherever we want. If you wanna turn it sideways, you can dip like this and press wherever you want. Just make sure that you press. Let's move to this one that I already worked on. Dip. And now if I want to keep building taller, press. Dip. And press. Sometimes it's important to use your helping hand to hold whatever you're working on. And another nice thing is turning your sculpture. A sculpture has more than one side. A sculpture looks different depending which side you're looking at. So dip and press. Dip and, hmm, how do I wanna put this one down? Maybe press. Now it's your turn. Keep building. See if you can get it bigger and taller and wider than the one that I did. I think you can do it. 